Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be changing the rear drive unit fluid on a 2023 Hyundai Ioniq 6. This should also apply to the 2024s as well. It's a pretty simple process and I'll walk you through everything that you need. So the first thing you're going to need to do is obviously get the car up on jack stands, which we've already done. And then you're going to want to remove the um, rear diffusers or bottom plates, whatever you want to call it which is relatively pretty easy to remove. So, you're going to have basically some clips all in these locations here, 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 and here. And then that's going to be the first piece. And then you're also going to have um, some 10 millimeter bolts here, here, and here. And that's going to be the first piece. The second piece, and I recommend starting from uh, towards the front end of it, which is towards the front of the car, you're going to have three 10 millimeter bolts there, uh, two 10 millimeter bolts there, here and here, and then you're going to have three more in the back, one, two, three. And the process you're going to remove it is, you're going to remove those three, these two, this one, this one, and remove this one last, because this will help you kind of remove it down. There's also kind of a little cl uh, clip here, you'll turn that. Um, and it'll pretty much just kind of come down with gravity. So that's going to be step two. I'm going to get you underneath the car for step three. So step three, once you get into the car, um, you don't have to remove the wheel, but I'm doing some other stuff, so I got the, the wheels off anyways. So this is going to be your drain plug, this guy here, and then this is going to be your fill plug. So I'll show that process um, uh, in, in just a second here, but I want to at least show you where everything's at so you know what you're getting yourself into. So the drain and fill plugs are going to be on the passenger side of the diff unit. Um, obviously this is the passenger rear wheel here. So um, if you've never done this before, you always want to open the fill plug first to make sure you can get in there and then you uh, uh, open the drain plug. So let me show you some of the things you're going to need to get this job done. So these are the things you're going to need. Um, you're going to need a can brake clean just to clean things up. You're going to need some crush washers. Um, the manual says to replace them. So you're going to need some of these. Fluid transfer pump. Alternatively, if I'm using Amazon, you can use their squeeze packages. But this is just some stuff I had left over from the previous job. Um, in my particular case, I want to send it, the fluid off to get tested, so you don't want to have this. So, if you've ever done this before, this is all done through Blackstone Labs. I'll leave a link in the bio. Essentially, you let probably about a third come out, grab the middle third, and then let, let it finish draining. In terms of fluid, um, this is the fluid that you should use, and this will meet the Hyundai spec which is going to be, let's see if we can get this to focus which is going to be right there SP4-M that is their spec in a fluid that they call for for, for this particular vehicle um, unfortunately the fluid that they put in a vehicle from what I can ascertain is that it's, it's uh, kind of like a synthetic blend or maybe even a non or more conventional fluid and so the reason I want to change this is because any car I get I always change um, all the fluids besides the oil that gets done every 5,000 miles but that's only on gas cars but I change all the fluids every um, the first time at 30,000 miles it's just kind of my thing um, and it seems to be working out really well for me so I'm going to keep doing it uh, but the other thing is, I'm going to be towing with this car, so I want to make sure I get a more heavy-duty brake fluid. Okay, and we're back. So I've already loosened this guy here. This is, uh, like I said, the uh, fill plug. So we're going to take that off. That's what that looks like. Right, I'm going to scoot you guys back so you can see a little bit more. There you go. So that's that. And uh, just so you know, that this is a 24 millimeter bolt. So now we're gonna undo the drain plug. I'm gonna get my bottle ready. Ooh. Oh, that is much dirtier than I anticipated. Good God. Get a little of that. 
of a reference, this fluid has only 25,000 miles on it now. And look at that. We'll see if it'll focus. It should be cherry red, and it is purple, nearly black. Let that dry a little bit. That is just disgusting. I'm shocked, actually. But this is a reason I want to change it. You can take a look at the fluid on that just to give you an idea of how nasty yeah let's start getting this back together so I got the new copper crush washers this is uh, 11 sixteenths um, also M18 that's the size you need it's a little bit bigger than normal um, I would use either the aluminum style that came with it or the copper um, in case you're worried about the copper uh, don't be worried about it because because there's some other fittings on the draft unit and it uses uh, copper cross washers obviously smaller fittings but yeah so yeah let's get this button back up and we'll be good to go in case you're wondering um, 49 foot pounds for both the drain and fill in terms of torque um, I'll come back This and I'll torque it down. I'm gonna get my torque wrench. All right, and uh, final step, we're gonna get this thing filled back up. All right, so I got the fill rig filled up, which is essentially just the pump going into the gallon. So um, this takes just under four quarts, um, and you want to make sure when you're doing this that the car is level to. I'm working a little blind because I got the camera in the way here. But essentially, you're going to just fill this until it drips out. Which is not like that. Okay, so I just wanted to do a little double checking. So, the fill capacity is right around three quarts. I think I said four quarts earlier. I just want to correct myself. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the fill plug back in there. Clean it up a little bit down here. Make sure we got everything. And we're all good. So that is how you change the rear drive unit fluid in a 2023 Ionic 6. Thanks, guys. Bye.